Carol Sylvester is our beloved second grade teacher. She has worked at Oak Grove since 1981. She was my first teacher at Oak Grove. Her classroom is full of joy and creativity, and she offers her students a unique balance of nurturing and knowledge. Thank you, Julian. Good morning, I'm so happy you're here, and I appreciate the reason you're here. As a young mother, I first set foot on this campus in 1979, and I attended the play A Midsummer Night's Dream. The cast included all of the about 30 students, ranging in ages from five to 13. Besides sensing the amazing atmosphere of this place, I was deeply touched by the quality of the play, and I mean deeply. It was set outside, and the students gave a stellar performance that left me thinking, I want my seven-year-old daughter to attend this school. Since 1981, I have been supremely fortunate to work here. When I started here, Krishnamurti was alive. And when he visited Ojai, parents, staff, and teachers were able to spend time with him often. The school was founded on the intention that an educational space will exist to give students, parents, and staff opportunities to look into how our minds work on a daily basis and to look into what exists beyond thought or with a non-mechanical mind. It's not always easy to be aware or stay present in the moment as our brains are hardwired to categorize, fix things, and move on from one thing to another quickly. I wonder, how can we all navigate our normal multitasking lives using a compass of sensitive awareness? Over many years, I have had the immense pleasure of not only teaching children to read and write, but also to learn with them how we are all conditioned and how our perceptions of the world can affect our relationships. Awareness and sensitivity go hand in hand. My students and I continue to share an intimate sense of what the school offers in the moment, often in silence, in nature, beyond the academics. Why does Oak Grove School stress the importance of being sensitively aware? In a quick, fast-paced, often violent technological world, the ability to notice our behaviors, thoughts, and reactions is crucial in bringing about positive change in our world. Much of our learning here takes place outside of the classroom, in nature, on this amazing campus. Recently, many of us have had the pleasure of getting to know our resident hawk, Lucky. For many months, students and staff have observed and respected this local raptor's habitat that she shares with us on our campus. One day, while sitting in the lower playground, I felt a gentle tap on top of my head. And since the sky was cloudy and it was cold out, I figured it was probably a raindrop falling. Simultaneously, the children and I all felt a gentle gust of wind, whoosh, going over our head. And we looked up to see Lucky flying with a dead snake in her talons. <laughs> the end of her, excuse me, the end of the snake's tail had touched my head. <laughs> Lucky flew up into a branch above us and proceeded to eat the snake. And needless to say, the children and I were momentarily astounded and shared such a sense of wonder between us while watching a food chain in action. While this experience was unusual and dramatic, we all have experiences every day that are normal yet profound. Our lives are a whole process of learning. The work our founder speaks to is the sensitive, literally using our senses, moment-to-moment -moment awareness of what is going on inside us and outside us. The school asks us to pay attention and not become complacent. It asks that we care deeply about ourselves, others, and the world. If we do not, we may become self-centered and insensitive. While nature does have a calming effect 
Our real challenge seems to be a willingness to pay attention beyond our thoughts in the midst of our busy lives. Our children are watching us, so we adults have an even greater reason to care about being responsibly aware. So for whatever reason you support this school, I imagine you're interested in a sane and wholesome way of life for yourselves and for all children. And may we all be gently bopped on the head once in a while as a reminder to be present in the moment and aware of ourselves and each other. We have a very unique opportunity here. I thank you for choosing Oak Grove School.